it's Linda. Welcome to my channel. If you want to learn how to cook quick meals, save money, and disguise your veggies so your kids will actually eat them, subscribe to my channel. Now, I have a disclaimer. All products mentioned and used in my videos are not sponsored. They're just the ones that I like. If you have a favorite brand, use your favorite brand. And I want to thank everyone that's been making suggestions. If you have more suggestions on what you want to see next on my channel, please, su please submit it to the comments below. I will get them on as soon as possible. Thank you. Enjoy the video. Today's video, I will be making French toast using white bread. You're going to need milk, butter, eggs, vanilla, cinnamon, sugar, and of course, white bread. The equipment that you will need for this recipe is a 9 by 13 cake pan, a cooling rack. I'm using oversized tea light candles this time. I'm using a small pan with a lid. The first thing I'll do is crack my eggs one by one into the cup, then I'll transfer it over to the pie plate. The reason why I do this, in case you get a bad egg, you don't want to mix the bad egg with the good egg. You put the good eggs over here and you can toss out the bad eggs. That way you're not wasting a bunch of eggs. Now, all you do is crack the egg and put that over there for the time being. And I'll do my other one. Yeah, you don't want to waste eggs. Now I'll be measuring the milk. Now I'm going to measure a half a cup of milk. And before I actually add the milk to the eggs, I'm going to beat the eggs. The next step is to beat the eggs. I put my milk away first. Yeah, you want to beat the eggs. Once they're beaded, you have to beat them real good. Yes, once they're fully beaded, you're going to add the milk to it. And I'll get me some measuring spoons and measure my cinnamon and vanilla. I'll be back. Now I'm measuring my cinnamon. I will be adding a tablespoon because I like cinnamon. Cinnamon is good for us anyway. That's a tablespoon. I'll be doing a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract and a pinch of sugar. It don't matter if you go over the amount. It's what you like. Yeah, this is a teaspoon. Yeah, heaping. <laughs> Anytime you do overage with vanilla, that's a heaping teaspoon. And a pinch of sugar. I put a little bit more. I put two pinches in. Now I'll mix it up. Then all we got to do is light the burner to get the pan warm because we don't want to soak the bread in this too long. We want to just dip it, then lift it up, then flip it. That way you got the coating on both um, sides and you're not oversaturating it. I'll be back to show you me lighting the tea light candles. I already took the liberty to light my candles. I'm going to put some butter in my pan and start the butter melting. Yes, I already made some before, but this is a different bread. So I'll get that hot. I'll show you the bread that I will be using for this one. This time I'm using regular white bread and I'm taking the lid off. You do not want to soak the bread to the point of it getting too soggy that it falls apart. You just want to dip it and flip it and put it in a pan. 
because otherwise it will get too soggy. That's all you got to do. Now put my lid on and we'll cook it about four minutes on each side. You want to make sure that the pan is over your candles completely. That way it heats up better. It needs a little bit more butter in the pan. There we go. And I'll lift it up so the butter can get underneath. There we go. That way it gets underneath and melts underneath. Put the lid back on it. Now I'm going to flip it over. It's okay if you have to flip it back over to cook it. There we go. Now put a little bit more butter in the pan. I love butter. There we go. Just a smidgen more. The reason why it's so dark is because of the cinnamon. I like it cinnamony. Is cinnamon -y a word? If it's not, it should be. I love the taste of cinnamon. Now I'm going to cook it a couple minutes without the lid on. That way, it's not going to be steamed. Now see this side. And it's getting there. I'll just cook it a couple more minutes on each side without the lid on. It's now done. So I'll put it on my plate, put this over there, that is what it looks like when it's done. Thank you for watching, please like, share, and subscribe.